Well, first, I've seen the reports. Um, I can't uh, in any way validate them. We simply, we simply don't know. Um, second, I would take anything coming out of the Kremlin with a very large shaker of salt. So let's see. Uh, we'll see what, uh, what, what the facts are. Um, and it's, it's really hard to comment or speculate uh, on this without really, uh, really knowing what the facts are. More generally, uh, as I've said and as we've said, when it comes to Ukraine, which is under daily assault, uh, and not just its incredibly courageous military forces, but its citizens, its men, women, and children being assaulted on a daily basis by this Russian aggression, being bombed out of their homes, their apartments, and their streets, children killed, families torn apart. Well, we leave it to Ukraine to decide how it's going to defend itself and how it's going to try to get back the territory that's been seized from it illegally by Russia over the past 14 months and going back to 2014, uh, back to then.